After I after I have my convalescence from my second knee operation, I'm getting ready to go back to Nablus. Okay. I'm going to go and work in Nablus, right, well, and I'm going to set up a uh, an, uh, a hostel for international volunteers. Okay. Cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> right, well. Very good. Thank you for asking me. Only people like us are capable to stay here every Sunday, so are capable to go into a boat. Or, you know, if, if we don't do it, that we have friends here. Like mm. we're gonna do, no? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, here in Montreal, I don't know anybody else, you know, who will come with me on the vigil. No, I'm behind, you know, the, the people who are organizing the demos here, the young Palestinians. Yes. I'm behind those kind of guys, you know, like they deserve to go there. They're yes. convinced, they're strong, they have powerful speeches. But when they came here, they made a mistake, and now they got an injunction against them. They can't come back. Uh, well. They had a demonstration here, and they were very angry. One guy from Palestinian Youth Movement yeah. made a Hitler salute. Okay, and a photo was taken, so that's right away a problem. Then, at the synagogue when they were demonstrating, one guy yells death to the Jews. Okay, and they make a big deal out of this too, you know. So, so they got an injunction against them. And, uh, and they can't come back. And they tried some... Uh, some, job, man. Job. some of the Zionists, they tried to get me kicked out of here, saying that I was uh, banned uh, under the injunction. But I showed them that it's not the same name. No, no, no. So, has nothing to do with you. Yeah, <laughs> the group Independent Jewish Voices, they're bigger than us, uh -huh. but they don't know what to do. They use uh, very poor language that is insulting to Jewish people. So, you know, in 2008 we split. We started uh -huh. off, I was a founder of that organization, uh -huh. and then he expelled me in 2008. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, no more rain. How nice. Oh. Okay, I can stay then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dog. Uh, you know, when I go to the park, but we come from Monrovia, you know, it's not enough running. You know. Eh? Not enough running. Yeah, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> uh, I go to the park again, eh? eh? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He talks. Allah. Allah. Wow. I've never seen a dog so well. This woman won't have fun. Is she taking a picture, maybe? Oh, there she is. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, sun even coming out. Nice. Okay, no problem. I think they want to talk to you, man. They just want to take a picture. They're too far away because I can't reach them. I'm holding the banner. Why? No, no, you're not going to go to the park. No, Emma's going to come out now. Wait. No. No more park for today. No more park for today. Have to go home. So this week there was a breakthrough. The Jewish leader of the Democratic Party in the Senate in the United States, okay. Chuck Schumer, okay. he made a speech calling for uh, new elections to get rid of Netanyahu. He's, a, he's supporting a Palestine state. Okay. He's still a Zionist, though. But yeah, but, uh, still, you know, especially for Zionists to come out like that, you know. Well, if the thing of the flotilla that I told you goes well, you know, it's like it's going to be a huge thing in April. Ah in the middle of April, because it's like, you're going to be thousands of people from all over the world, uh -huh. you know, breaking the seats, and it's like that. Uh, this time Israel cannot stop the boats. It well, be it's like, no, because Turkey is behind. So yeah, there's too much support. They can't stop it this time. Yeah, it's very good action. A huge thing. Very good. We'll see how it goes, man. Mm -hmm. I will be here with my kids, just praying, <laughs> you know, daily that everything goes well. <laughs> And uh, I think they're they're beginning to back down as well on the on the crossing. Please do take a photo, yes. And these are all photo pages. Watch Why? out! Watch out! Why? I don't know what she said. Anyway, nicht auf unsere Nummer, not in our name. No genocide in Gaza allowed. Hi, kid. Oh, he's looking at the dog. Oh, 
sunshine. The Siamese get really angry with you, eh? Oh, some, yeah. Wow, oh, man. Like even the, even the, the, the women, they become very ugly, you know, and they and they yeah, yeah. they even have an ugly face and shouting yes, at me. Stops to take a photo to come here to tell you this should be a shame, man. What did she say? What am I supposed to do? You should be ashamed. Oh, I should be ashamed. Oh, okay. Yeah. I tell them they should be ashamed, and that's it, you know. Yeah, but it's like, yeah. you have not interest about her, just move, you know, but just to stop. To, but Another woman said, oh. That, it, that is very meaningful, eh? When you get that kind of reactions, yeah. that means you've been, you've been affected. Yeah, I know, that's why I come. Yeah. 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 And I cannot be stopped by the injunction because I don't uh, violate any other people's rights, you know, so my rights cannot be violated. Yeah, yeah that's the way it works. Uh, wow, that's going to be a great direct action. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We will see it on the media for sure. <laughs> for sure. But I'm going to be going back to Nablus by the end of the year. Yeah. And I'll, uh, you know, have a guest house. You know, because right now people from Europe, they come there to be volunteers, you know, with the, they go on the demonstrations with the Palestinians, they won't be shot, uh -huh. basically. So they have to, uh, you know, stay at a, at a private hostel and they have to pay, like, at least 40 shekels a night. Mm -hmm. And this goes to the profit of a private, you know, business, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm going to make it, you know, so that, you know, we have uh, a place that only charges expenses, okay. 30 or, or so shekels a night. So they can stay longer. They can stay a week longer than they would have. Yeah. You know, usually they come for two weeks. I remember weeks. when I started to be involved into activism with Palestine. There was an organization. I think I still work in, like International Solidarity Movement. I was with ISM in 2003 uh, okay. in Nablus. I was in the latter camp, you know, yeah. with ISM. I was like um, feeding my knowledge with them first. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And after I jumped into international activism. Yeah. When I heard that Rochelle Corey was killed, yeah. then I went that springtime right away. Oh, wow, the one that is part of the conversation, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I guess you have to take him for a run. Yeah, I have to get my, my little girl. I'm going home to the other week. In 2003, I met uh, Tom Hurdle. Okay. He was working with us in the Galata camp. Okay. And then he went to Rafa and he was killed. Oh, so you have a youth background. Well, you are older than me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've, I've done a lot. And then I went back in 2011, 2015, 16, 17, and 18. Right. I started in 2003, my, my uh, activism with Palestine. Mm. I started to go to, to Lebanon, to the refugee camps. And mm. I was with that. Mm. Was so we have to keep in contact. Very good. Yeah, well, I, I will send you an email. I tell you, I am Manuel, the guy every Sunday. Uh, I can put you on our, uh, on our uh, list. On list. Okay, so we'll keep in touch. Very good. Okay. Take care, man. Excellent. Not in our name, no genocide in Gaza allowed.
Not in our name. No genocide.